I just want to give some just some thoughts about Kobe while um you know unbelievable news today hearing about his passing um I mean it's surreal it's, at this point it's only been like a couple of hours and I stepped away from social media and then came back to it and I kind of was like yo this is really happening like this is this this really happened you know it's it's it's, it's really crazy um uh, I just wanted to give some thoughts. I actually have a couple of Kobe, kind of like my relation to Kobe. Uh, me and Kobe are like around the same age. So with that said, it's like he, um, my father gave me a, a magazine when Kobe was in high school and I was about to leave high school at the same time. And it was basically saying that, you know, Kobe was trying to figure out the transition from from high school to college because he was undecided what he was going to do next but he was considering going to the NBA and my what my pops was trying to convey to me was that basically that you know you could do anything you know and, and, and just learn how to transition you know to the next level of your life so you know I'll never forget that you know what I'm saying um, and from there you know Kobe an amazing player I can't I can say a thousand things about him you know that everybody already said, you know, like on a sports, just in basketball, you know, I always felt the 81 point game was overrated, <laughs> but I always thought the 62 point game in three quarters was probably the most amazing thing that he's ever done as far as scoring. I thought 81, I mean, it was, it was amazing. It was the second highest scoring game in history, but at the same time, the game was out of reach. They, they booed him out and he didn't have to get the rest of the points <laughs> but whatever still amazing um i'm a celtics fan and he he broke our hearts many a times i actually just seen a tweet that said something to the point of we never us celtics fans would never think kobe bryant could break our heart again and then now he, he actually did you know in this type of way so uh, it is is very um, heartbreaking, and then to find out his daughter was with him, you know, was even it's just hard, horrible, horrible news. And and it's like, but somebody had tweeted or they said something to the point of maybe it's better that his daughter did leave with him because they were so close. You know, how would she even be able to go on? without him because she was literally attached to his hip. You know, all the pictures of them at the games or at um you know, him at her him coaching her team and and, and everything at him or at the WNBA games and everything, you know. It's crazy. The magnitude of this is going to be felt for years, decades. Um every NBA player <laughs> everybody damn near who played basketball you know, said Kobe when they shooting a shot or emulated Kobe or try to be Kobe or, or have Mamba mentality, you know. You know, um, coach of the Celtics, Brad Stevens, said that um, Kobe is, is this generation's Jordan. And, and I think that's pretty much sums it up because I grew up on Jordan, you know. And then we'd seen Kobe become Jordan too, you know. So I just, it just seems surreal, you know. Like this year, 2020, you know, we're losing people who are very important, prominent. I put it on my, my Instagram story. Like, you know, you see a lot of people, you see them in, in, on your phones, you know, or you see them on TV and you are used to their presence. And then all of a sudden they're gone. And um, I, I feel bad for this generation having to grow up. And, and you know, and I'm say just generation, like early 20s, you know, or the, the teenagers is like seeing people who you admire just pass away. And it's like, wow. And that goes from a Mac Miller to a Juice World to um, Tentacion. Um, it's so many, you know, and you're just like, wow, Nipsey Hussle, you know, these are people that you, you're excited to see what's next for them in life. You, you, with Kobe, you was like, okay, now he's retired. And you see him coaching his daughter and, and he 
he did a put out a cartoon and, and um you know he he's trying to get into film and, and, and i think he won a golden globe i believe um so you're like excited to see this next phase of his life you know you want to see kobe with the gray beard like bill russell you know or, or even jordan you know 50 60 years old and, and see what they accomplish with themselves you know after basketball it's like um like we see it and when and joe button for instance how you see him transition from doing um from rapping to now he has probably one of the most successful podcasts out right now you know and that's what he should be doing as once you get older it's like me i i want to trans excuse me i want to transition from doing music and you know business and, and 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 work on other things you know the love for the music is always there but there's next next in my life and i hope you know if god gives me the time and the years that i get to fulfill a lot of things that i would like to do you know like um juice world very young he didn't even get to see the prime of his life and, and who knows where he was gonna go he came out and had a successful song successful album you know mac miller very talented guy you wanted to see where he was gonna go with it where he eventually do what like eminem and catch himself before the his addiction will ultimately become his demise you know you know you know whether it's from drugs alcohol murder accident only thing that's certain is death and the next day is not promised so i'll just say make sure take advantage of every day you have you know 24 hours you have to put in the effort whether it's your nine to five whether it's learning something new whether it's creating you have to do something that's going to be important for somebody else you know live for others and um if we do that the world be a better place you know so i think i'll leave it at that man rp kobe bryant I, I can't even believe this i wanted to come back and do a blog i didn't want to do a blog about this but it's on my mind i've been talking to friends about it and it's just like man it's a dark day man there's a dark day in in sports in history you know even if you ain't watch basketball you knew who kobe was you know so, hey, everybody, hug your loved ones, tell them you love them, and see you on the next one.